the, in the lead up to the lockout, Larkin's success was based on the sympathetic strike. Not because a sympathetic strike was used, it was a threat. And in fact, if you look at the statistical records for the Board of Trade, you'll see that sympathetic strikes are actually the most ineffective form of industrial action because if you had a sympathy, if you came out in sympathy with someone having a strike down the road, within a, a few hours the strike became not about the people down the road but about the fact your employee wasn't paying you anymore and he didn't want to take you back. So the, the, the dispute moved on and spread. But the reality is that um, in 1913, Larkin had become a past master at using the threat of the sympathetic strike. Say, well, if you don't settle with me now and give my members, uh, I'm going to call out people down the road and they won't handle your goods either. So that's what worked for him. And Murphy saw, saw, thought this through and he said, well, if there's one thing that can trump the sympathetic strike, it's the sympathetic lockout. And he achieved, a, a, a remarkable in his own way, he got 400 employees in Dublin who'd been battered all over the place by Larkin for the previous six months. He persuaded them that if they did the same thing and they all stood together, they could actually beat Larkin at his own game. And that's basically what Murphy did. And uh, the, the independent newspapers by then become quite important. He began it as a sort of political plaything. He was very active in nationalist politics. He'd founded the, he founded the paper, or say he took over the paper, uh, 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 from the Parnellites because he was an anti-Parnellite. Uh, and his great friend was Tim Healy. They took over the paper in order to fight the Redmond, what, who became the, later the Redmondites. They all came together. Murphy was always a bit of an odd man out. He never liked Redmond. He believed Redmond had sold them out uh, on partition, on, on home rule. But uh, the paper became very important in 1913 because it was the means by which uh, they were able to combat Larkin and the Irish worker, to demonize the workers, uh, and to uh, ensure that the employer's voice dominated.